and I'm, guess what? It's popping me up here. Now this guy's, what is this guy doing? All right, here we go, brake. Check that out. See that? I never touched the brakes, I never touched the gas. The Jeep Wrangler being used today is brought to you by Black Automotive Group in Statesville, North Carolina. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Brandon Hainline, Jeep Informant here on YouTube and Amazon. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the adaptive cruise control and all of its features. We're going to be using the 2019 Jeep JL Wrangler and also this will apply to the JT Gladiator also. Now before we get started on our little road trip here, I'm going to show you a few things that you might need to know that will help you understand the video a little bit better, okay? First thing I want to show you is this large box that is behind the rear view mirror. This houses the complete system of the adaptive cruise control and the forward collision warning system, okay? Now, there is two main sensors in that box. One is a camera. Now that camera uh, looks out and sees what is in front of the vehicle, okay? But all, that's all it can do is, is it can just see what it is, okay? It can't determine how far that's away. So that's why we need the second sensor, which is the radar. The radar tells us how far this object is away from the vehicle. Now, most other vehicles, you will see this radar on the outside of the vehicle, okay? In the grill, in the center of the grill, and or in the bottom air dam, okay? Here's a few pictures of some of the other vehicles that have it. And you may have seen it before. It's like a little, you know, there's like a little eyeball or whatnot. So the next thing you need to know is the dash area here. So all of your information is going to be displayed on this little TFT display right here. And then also, you have some extra fun buttons here beside the cruise control. Now this is your standard cruise control and this is the adaptive cruise control. Now, you might say, what's the difference? Well, there's a huge difference. This is just your standard cruise control and you know, you set it at 70 miles an hour and you're going at 70. But the beauty of the adaptive cruise control is when we set it, it actually um, monitors the vehicle in front of you, okay? And keeps you a certain distance away. Let's talk a little bit more about these buttons as you can see, this one here has one, two, three, four marks in front of this car. This has two marks in front of the car. And what this is, is it lower, this is minus, and this is plus. So it's kind of like this here, minus and plus. And what you're doing, you're not setting the speed, okay? This is setting how far you want to be away from the car in front of you or the truck. So this is, I want to be less distance. And, you know, rumor has it that each one of these is a car length. So this one, you can go all the way down to one car length and all the way up to four car lengths. Now that will also be displayed up in this area right here. The one, two, three, four little dashes, it'll be in this uh, display. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you see me going up or down, that's what that's for. This is where we're going to do our speed, just like a regular cruise control. Now, something else that this little box does here, okay, is it does something called forward collision warning. You may see it as um, FCW. Now, this um, FCW Plus or forward collision warning plus, what this is, go into the safety and assistance. Come on, where you at, baby? There you go. And you can see here forward collision warning forward collision sensitivity. So what that is, is that radar is gonna detect something in front of you, okay? So let's say you're just traveling down the road and you have, you're distracted by something, not your phone, right? You're not on your phone. And um, and someone stops in front of you or slows down um, real fast in front of you. This radar will detect that, okay? And alert you in, well, ding, and like apply the brakes a little bit. Eh, and if you don't respond to it, it will actually apply the brakes itself to mitigate the collision. Now, it has the capability of bringing it completely to a stop. We're going to try to test this feature out also, all right? So, let's get started. All right, so as you can see right here, I've got it set to 64 in that top corner, and we are going 64, 65. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run this up some. I'm going to run it up all the way to 73, 75. Look here. I'm running it up to 85 miles an hour. 88 miles an hour, back to the future. I'll go back in time. But it's keeping me at 66 miles an hour because there's someone in front of me. Now if I press this button right here, this is gonna reduce the amount of car lengths in front of me. So I'm pressing that button, as you can see. You can see in the corner here, it shows two car lengths now and the speed sped up. But it's still gonna keep me 
that distance from the vehicle in front of me. But I feel a little bit unsafe, a little too close to this car. So we're gonna press the button back and we want four car lengths. So I'm four car lengths away from that vehicle in front of me. Now I have it set to 88 miles an hour, back to the future speed. And this is interesting here. Now what'll happen, there's a car beside me so I can't get over. But it's keeping me, I've got it set to 80, and it's going 74. Okay, I'm still four car lengths away from the car in front of me. Now if this, now if this blue car right here was to cut over in front of me, it would automatically slow me down to keep that four car lengths away from me. The car behind me would almost get brake checked. Here we go, let's see what happens. Slowing down, it's slowing down. We need four car lengths. The brakes are applied. And then now the car behind me doesn't like that, so he's getting over. So this is a safety measure that keeps you a certain distance away. You can see if someone else pulled over there, I'm getting, I'm getting slung down again. That's the beauty of the radar. Now look here, they just moved over. And um, guess what, it's popping me up here. Now this guy's, what is this guy doing? All right, here we go, brake. Check that out. See that? I never touched the brakes. I never touched the gas. That's what happens, okay? Someone pulls over in front of you, it braked itself. It saw that there could be a collision ahead and it took care of the situation. Now, some people may say, hey, I wanna be in control of my vehicle. I wanna brake when I wanna brake. And I understand that you should be in control of your vehicle, okay? But this, what this is, it's faster than humans can react, okay? It can mitigate collisions. It can reduce the amount of damage that can happen during an incident. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get off the interstate here and I'm gonna show you uh, what would happen if you get too close to another vehicle, just like we saw just a few minutes ago. All right, this is what I was wanting to show you guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go. It saw a collision about to happen and it said brake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you like the cruise, adaptive cruise control or do you not like the adaptive cruise control? Some people complain about the big box there in the way. We got a small enough windshield as it is. Now we're putting this huge box in the middle of the windshield. Some people don't like that. But, you know, everybody has their own preference. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you've watched this video this far, you clearly liked it. So make sure you hit the like button, okay? Now don't forget this coming weekend is Father's Day 2019. So if you ladies out there, if you need to get something for your dad, okay, and your dad likes Jeeps, make sure you get him a Jeep Informant flashlight with a roll bar holster. I'll leave a link down in the description area below for a 10% off coupon for Father's Day, okay? Have a great day, guys. Take care, and we'll see you next time.